Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you the next part of the making of series for my upcoming book Tokyo at Night. And this time I'll be painting a smaller illustration, something that I'm calling a spot illustration. So this one will not be a whole page or a spread or two pages, but just an illustration that will be in the book surrounded by text. During the location hunting with Kana we found some really interesting places that were kind of complete enough that I wanted to turn them into whole scenes. So an illustration for a page or three quarters or maybe two pages spread. But in some places we found interesting things, things that picked my oh I would like to paint this sensor. But the whole surrounding was not interesting enough to make them worthy a whole illustration. So I wanted to make some spot illustrations that will be a part of the book surrounded by text uh, that will show some details and some interesting things that we found during our location hunting sessions. And this is one of those places. The retro looking sign and the lantern that was mirrored in the shop front doors were just too good to pass. For this illustration the process is the same as with the big ones, so first I'm doing a sketch with my big evolution pencil and then I draw the lines with my Lamy Safari M Nib fountain pen using the waterproof Soboku ink made by Sailor. I really like the ink and the more I use it the more I like it. I'm using it currently for three projects I think. So if you would like to have a blue-black ink that is waterproof and has great textures, especially on watercolor-like papers like the console I'm using here, then the Soboku is a great choice. I'm also using the same ink for making shadows. This is again the idea that I have about mimicking the style of Japanese hanga prints, so woodblock prints, where the shadows, so darkest parts, are the same color as the lines. Also because this is a spot illustration so it does not have a full background, I decided to paint the whole left part of the picture with this ink to make a dark background so maybe some text will be put here, maybe I'll extend it further with uh, some digital editing or maybe I'll do a whole page of only ink texture and then use this to extend this background further so there's more place for text. I'll just have to experiment together with the designer who will be making the actual layout for the book's pages. But even at this point I try to be conscious about the book so these are not only illustrations that I'm doing like the usual tests and sketches that I do but these are illustrations for a book, so I try to think about how a page will look like, how a layout of a page will look like with this illustration in it. After erasing the sketch, the last step is of course painting the whole thing with watercolors. I'm using here my regular Schminke watercolor set, the 60 colors one that you can see on my website. And even though this was supposed to be a spot illustration, something shorter and fun and easier to paint than the usual huge illustrations I'm painting for the book, this actually took me more time than I expected. The window, the glass effect took a lot of time and concentration to finish to make it look good. I used here some masking fluid to make the light grey letters, so the sign that's on the glass, but also used some white gouache mixed with watercolors to add some white and highlight the details and also used it to add some details of the leaves of the plant in front of the doors. Okay, so this is how the illustration turned out. I like the result but for the future spot illustrations I would like to keep them more simple and to make the content more stand out from the background. The Tokyo at Night book is currently on pre-order on Japanese Amazon like my previous book but will be published, if everything goes well, around fall this year. Okay, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always feel free to comment, share and subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon. It's your support on Patreon that allows me to focus on private projects like this book. Okay, see you in the next video, bye!